check this one out. This drink, okay? They put a sportsman on the cover. Start your day the champion way. It's marketed as something that actually makes you healthy. Now look at the ingredients. It is 9.3 grams of sugar for every 20 grams. This is 40% sugar. It's literally this much sugar. But again, promote it as a health drink. I want to play for you this video. Time to beat energy gap. This ad that you're about to see has been called by Dr. Mark Hyman, one of America's top doctors, as one of the most insidious, untruthful, blatant corruptions of advertising, where Nestle tells Filipino moms and dads Four out of five kids have it. A bullshit invented disease, and that to cure energy gaps, you feed them this shit, which is primarily 40% sugar. Yes, cure your kids by giving them a sugar spike. Now the breakfast aisle. Everything from ball grill to jams to preserves. How is this in the breakfast aisle? This is essentially chocolate. Nutella and Ferrero Rocher have been sued for portraying chocolate as breakfast. But worse than that, this isn't even real chocolate. This is primarily palm oil. Serving size 15 grams, 8.4 grams of sugar. This has more sugar than anything else per serving. I had an employee of Ferrero write to me to say thank you for exposing this because while working for Ferrero, we literally had meetings where we had to brainstorm new ways to label sugar so the public wouldn't detect it. And that brings me to another point. Companies like this are often coming up with new ways to label sugar. This is actually a phenomenon. The British Heart Association has made a chart so you can be aware of all the different names for sugar that companies put on their packaging to confuse you. Now let's talk about fake health labeling. Companies know that you're getting more conscious of sugar. This is Sunkiss, 100% orange juice, or so they say no sugar added. Observe the price, 1066, right? Now this apparently is the lower grade option, okay? 583. The no sugar added is double the price. And if you actually look at total sugars per serving, it's 22.5 grams. You look at the one that's cheaper, it's actually 21.3 grams of sugar. The no sugar added option actually has more sugar. The last time I did an expose like this, it became the hottest story in Malaysia where I filmed that expose, where Nestle had recently been accused by the New York Times of funding nutritional studies in Malaysia. That huge sharing that happened caused Nestle to drop their health ratings in Australia and New Zealand to introduce zero sugar substitutes. So your sharing matters. And here's a tip. Watch what I do in this video. Take a trip to a grocery store in your country, in your community, and create a video like this in your language to share with your community. Let's take these companies on. They have billion dollar advertising budgets, but we have each other.